The mortgage forbearance program is ending. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I wanna thank you for coming. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. As a California licensed real estate agent in the most euphoric Southern California market, I've been living in the wild west. It has been insanity working in real estate. Came to YouTube and started warning people, please be careful in these times. This is an artificially created housing market due to government stimulus and stimulus programs. So before we get into today's topic, I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for what should be my final thought and hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It's very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very interesting times. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and get right into today's topic. This is a big one in my opinion, and I'll tell you why. I'm already coming up for air. There's 2 million people, give or take, in mortgage forbearance, not making their mortgage payments. And I don't know about you folks, but I've been seeing a lot of people out taking vacations and buying new cars and just throwing caution to the wind. Um, not me. I'm not doing that quite yet. Um, I'm playing it safe uh, this time around. The last housing crash got my attention, and that was due to loan, just some shaky loans. This is a global health pandemic, China. China might be our black swan event, right? That could easily have a trickle down effect and start causing pain over here. We're in an everything bubble. And when I say everything, I'm not talking stocks, real estate, and bonds. I'm talking globally. They're, everybody's in a real estate bubble right now. This is insane insane so one of the things that we have to understand folks is real estate moves slowly this isn't you know although there could be a black swan event that could also i wouldn't shock me at this point based on what i've seen out of the real estate market it would not shock me i've said that from the beginning something comes out of left field blindsides us flip flops us and we go from buyer herd mentality to seller herd mentality i'm already seeing more listings coming i'm seeing more price changes price reductions Greedy agents trying to call them, you know, price improvements because, uh, you know, they came on the market too high. Love that one, agents, come on. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to see now is people are going to be expected to start making their mortgage payments. And, and just so you know, the next fiscal cliff is if banks get to start foreclosing on them. Like, I can't even believe we're talking about this. I can't even believe we're talking. About, this has never been seen in history where you could stop making your mortgage payments in the bank. Sorry, you can't foreclose on them. They're, 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 you know, they're safe. Insane. Do you know the pressure that's put right now that's building up, that's ready to, it's insanity. So September 30th is when mortgage forbearance, people that were in it are gonna be, have to start paying. And again, like I've said before, if you stopped all the, the, uh, the, the um, stimulus programs in the form of mortgage forbearance ending, for uh, closure bans ending, eviction bans ending, and unemployment benefits ended all at once today, it would collapse the market. I really hope you understand that it would collapse. So they're staggering them out. And like I've said before, I believe it, we're about a year, we're at ground zero now, it could take a year. These fiscal cliffs will impact the market in a significant way, whether it's a correction, recession, or depression, something is gonna be produced. I almost guarantee it. It would take a miracle for it not to, and miracles happen, so you can you know, always hope for a miracle, but I believe this, this is the time to be a realist. Unless something black swan event comes out of left field, in which it looks like there's a good chance this China connection could could produce that so we're gonna have to monitor that one a little bit for sure um what i believe is going to happen with the people this is a big one we have to watch the mortgage forbearance end, and then the the uh, uh foreclosure ban and when banks can start foreclosing and people have to start making payments we're going to see who is out vacationing buying cars and throwing caution in the wind and they say oh let's go to market or go refi my house the market shifts are going to make that harder. There's more inventory. You're competing with more people, friends. And if the bank doesn't like the way you look on paper now, they're not going to refi you. And if you come to market and you come on the market too high and you start showing price reductions, you don't get off market, and then you have another payment due and another payment due, the bank's just going to swoop in and take the home. People that don't understand what's going on right now are, are potentially some 
some significant trouble. Let's just call it for what it is. This is the time to really play it safe, friends. Um, the fiscal cliffs that I've been talking about are starting to roll out. And we have to let these roll out. And again, one trending hot, uh, one trending headline because we're on such a heavy digital diet. We could be watching what's happening in China. We've already seen it. The stock market started to get a little bit, a little bit iffy just on that news. If the China class, if their bubble pops, believe me, if from just a psychological standpoint, we could start to panic. Panic spreads like a fire. Panic spreads like a fire, folks. And I'm telling you right now, this global pandemic, there is so much pain globally. There's so much bubbliness globally that panic could spread from one of these events. So we really just, again, folks, I come to you doing my best to just be a voice of reason in what's been a crazy world, crazy world. Like I say a lot, you know, this is it's much more in real estate that I try to get across in these videos. I've, I saw comments where people maybe have said, oh, can you get to the point you take too long? Listen, repetition. I mean, you're gonna hear a lot of repeat things. I wake up before the sun comes up every day and I study, I'm in books, so I'm doing my best to, to, to become a better person. And that's probably the only reason I'm here at YouTube. I, have, I felt this gravitational pull to come start warning people. Most salesmen are gonna tell you the exact, the old Scott would be like, hey, let's get you out there. And the market's starting to soften a little bit. It's a great opportunity going on. It's a great time. Interest rates are still low. I think I can get you into this one. I don't think we'll have to write an offer too much over asking price. That's what most real estate agents are doing right now, folks. Most of them haven't lived through a downturn before. And they think this market can last forever. There's going to be a, some significant, well, man, whew, I... I I have a hard time reporting this. There's going to be some significant pain for a lot of people that didn't understand that this market won't last forever. It can't. It just can't. You can't see property values go up the way they did and sustain themselves. They're going to, what goes up must come down. And it's definitely never been more true with the real estate market, what it just did. It absolutely will. Folks, congratulations if you've remained on the sidelines. If you just bought, it's not over for you. Just be prepared to hold your real estate and see it possibly go down in value. If it's a home that you're happy with and you can make the payment, it's not that important. Again, I'll say it before, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna bring a video specifically on this topic. If you can, go refi your mortgage into a payment that matches that property's rent range, even though it's not a rental because if some serious stuff comes down, which I believe it could, you can always jump into a cracker box and cool your heels there and let somebody else make your payment and rent that property out. It's always a smart idea to put enough money down on a property to get it, your payment to be around what it would rent for, unless you can get it even you know significantly under. You definitely don't want a big payment that's over its rent range. If you're a nine to five working person, you know, uh, I just don't think it's smart. So we're gonna talk a little bit in final thoughts. We're gonna talk more about that moving forward um i do need to bring you guys uh some some investment strategies uh we're going to do that i'm not going to charge for it this is free i'm not asking you to join a website or you know you can now have more access to me by paying for this this and this is time to help people and that's what i'm going to continue to do i'm going to bring it i'm going to bring it to you straight so go make a count today and we'll see you on the next video